Uh. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my tape. I'm glad I'm dead. A worthless fucking Buddha head. The stress is building. The flavors up my like Timbo's and Jabos. Bitches just oh, like the me. I know how it feel to wake up fucked up. Pocket yeah. to see at all events bent. Gats and holsters, girl blues. I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. I'm going, going back. With the date of Biggie's upcoming album approaching, Biggie goes to Los Angeles where he presents an award at the Soul Train Music Awards. The after party, hosted by Vibe Magazine, is at the Peterson Automotive Museum. Wallace and Sean Puffy Combs stay there until the party is shut down by the fire department. I live out there, so don't go there. But that don't mean a nigga can't rest in the West. See some nice breast in the West. Make some nice sex in the West. Y'all niggas is a mess, but you're not gonna stop. Give it LA press. All I got is beef with those that violate me. A black Chevrolet Impala is seen parked on Senate the Awards, but its presence is ignored. The first suburban is driving Puffy and three bodyguards, the second, Notorious B.I.G. and members of the Junior Mafia. As the Suburban carrying Puffy runs the yellow light, Biggie's comes to a stop. It is at the corner of Wilkshire Boulevard and Fairfax. At approximately 12.45, a man in a blue suit, believed to be associated with the Fruits of Islam, pulls up next to Biggie. He is in a black Chevrolet Impala. First Suburban turns around after hearing the shots and parks directly in front of Biggie's vehicle. While Sean Combs stays behind with Biggie, two bodyguards pursue the Black Impala. Due to the programming of that specific model Suburban, the engine is to temporarily cut power if speeds exceed 98 miles per hour. The Impala sped off, and the bodyguards returned to Wallace. Wallace's entourage then immediately rushed him to Cedar sinai Medical Center. Due to the four bullets that hit Wallace in the chest and the massive internal bleeding, he was pronounced dead at 1.15 a.m.